Hello friends, this is Nick from NLB Solutions and this is the first video of the series VMware vSphere version 6.5 installation, configuration and management. So um, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to install ESXi host 6.5 and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've created a new virtual machine on my uh, computer and I've attached the uh, VMware ESXi ISO image which I've downloaded from the VMware official website. So um, the first thing that you're going to see um, on the screen when you install the actual image is you have the option to boot from the um, image itself or boot from the local disk. Uh, on the local on the local disk on my end I don't have anything installed at the moment so I'm going to press enter to boot from the um, actual image that I've loaded. So it's going to take some time to start loading everything in the RAM and we'll see um, I'll just pause for a moment so we can keep the video short. So on the, this page you can see what is the actual um, VMware SXI version and what is the kernel release build and this is not the newest one. I'm not sure if there is a newer than this. This is the one that I've um, downloaded uh, maybe a month uh, ago and uh, I'm going to use it to, to install on my VMware. But uh, yeah, I've um, added two um, processors you can see that uh, I've basically said that I'm, I want to add two processor but these are virtual and I've added 12 gigabytes of memory uh, to this host. So uh, on the first uh, window that you'll see it's basically a nice welcome um, window that will tell you that uh, the ESXi um, will not work on all systems so if you are building this for production environment um, I think it's needed and it's a must to consult with uh, the compatibility page right here that you can see so you can confirm that uh, the hardware that you're going to use is capable of running with VMware and another thing that uh, it's uh, important and is a, uh, let's say a hint from my end is if you are going to install um, on a specific hardware, for example, HP, either HP, Dell or any other hardware, it's always good to visit the VMware uh, ESXi site and download the uh, image, the ESXi image for this hardware manufacturer. Because in there, in this specific image, let's say for HP systems, you have uh, built-in in the kernel drivers for HP servers and they will be built-in with the image itself. This image that I'm going to install is a, a pretty much a generalized image. It does not contain any specific um, drivers or anything. So it's important to verify what is the hardware you're going to build and then select the proper um, image from, from uh, VMware. So I'm going to press enter to continue and I would need to read through the license agreement and you can read through them if you if you want but for uh, to make the video shorter I'm just going to press F11 to accept it and it's going to scan uh, my to find my disks uh, so that it can install the actual um, operating system and this is really important um, you need to be really, really careful with installing DSXI because as a normal, um, like a normal Windows operating system, this can wipe out all the information from a disk. So um, you can see that I've attached a single disk, which is a local disk, and it contains only four gigabytes. Another hint that I can add here is um, you can install DSXI on different, um, different hardware, um, components for example it's not um, it's not uh, mandatory or it's you are not um, you are not obliged to install the operating system on a hard drive you can use for example SD cards you can use a flash drive so 
whatever you like. In my case, I've attached to my virtual machine a single four gigabytes of um, of uh, disk, and I'm going to use that. So I can uh, press Enter to continue, and it's going to ask me for the uh, keyboard layout, which I'm going to set to as default. And uh, it's going to ask me to input the root password for the SXI host. So let me add that. So the passwords match and I'm going to press enter to continue. Okay, um, once again, it's going to ask me if I want to install the um, ESXi on the disk that I've um, mentioned and you can see warning this disk will be repartitioned so be careful where you are installing the the actual operating system so i'm going to press f11 to confirm and this is going to start installing my esxi hosts um, in my case as i'm using an ssd disk it's not going to take so much time but for the sake of the length of the video i'm just going to pause and continue on the next step so after the actual installation of the ASXi operating system, you will see a installation complete message saying that um, the installation completed successfully. So uh, what you want to do uh, before restarting is to remove um, the actual ISO image if you are installing that on a virtual machine and reboot so that it can boot up into the uh, local disk which we already have the ESXi installation so let me just uh, do this real quick and we can reboot and see how it goes from there okay so I'm ready to press enter and this is going to restart my server and uh, if everything went um, accordingly to plan I will uh, see the um, login screen, basically the, the um, normal screen of a ESXi operating system. So I'm just going to leave it to automatically boot. And this of course is going to take some time. Again, on an SSD it's going to make things faster. On a normal hard drive it's going to take, let's say, 5-10 minutes maybe. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, let me just pause once again and we'll resume when um, we are on the login screen. Yep, so this is the normal um, ESXi page that you will see when you um, log in directly or via console onto your um, ESXi server. So if you want to customize things, you have to press F2 to start, but uh, I'm going to leave that for the next video in which we are going to start configuring the actual ESXi hosts and host and I will show you how you can configure that, that step by step. This was the first video of the series which is installing ESXi host version 6.5 and um, if you like the video you can always hit the like button subscribe to the channel so you will see when i upload the next part of the uh, video series where we install and play around with uh, vmware esxi and vmware vsphere in general this was nick from nlb solutions thank you very much for the patience thank you very much for viewing this video see you in the next one